There is so much to know today, and we are producing information at such an incredible rate that there's more to know every day. There's just an explosion of information about everything you can imagine. But one thing I find that even in the midst of all of, all of this information, uh, there are so many people that don't know enough about their own industry. It is uh, surprising. It is um, uh, certainly challenging to know everything you, you need to know. There's so much to, to keep up with. But it's, it, it leads to mistakes. It leads to missed opportunities. And it can lead even to embarrassing moments. I was once um, going up to a university to see a prominent person um, give a talk. And uh, this was actually a talk that was a private talk for students of a particular department. And uh, I had called ahead to see if I could come up and, and participate in this and, and see this uh, fellow that I knew uh, who was uh, very well known. And uh, I, I came up to the university, and when I, when I entered in the building, I asked, uh, okay, which way is this lecture going to happen? And the person who ran the department came running out, shaking my hand, and uh, greeted me using the name of the person who was going to be lecturing that day, which meant that he didn't know what this fellow looked like. And he had, had obviously had not been familiar with this person's work, and he was just, you know, I don't know if going through the motions of what he was doing, but he didn't know what the fellow looked like. And that was an embarrassing moment when I had to tell him that, no, I'm actually here to, uh, to, to listen and to watch. I'm not, I'm not the person. And, and so not being familiar with someone's work and not being familiar with their contribution to an industry, what they did or are doing, what kind of advancements they uh, were responsible for, what kind of impact they've had, and how that relates to what you're currently doing is something that a lot of people are not up on. Now, they're not up on it because they're not reading. And a lot of people don't like to read today, even though there's lots of information coming across our various devices. In terms of sitting down and devoting time to reading about their industry and reading about the players in their industry, both past uh, and present, is not something that a lot of people will do. And so they're at a loss when it comes to understanding how an opportunity that they're dealing with um, or a client they're dealing with um, fits in the context of their industry historically. And I think that if the more you know about your industry, the more you know about industries in general, the better you will be when it comes to doing business. You will just be better with clients. Clients will hear that you know more than others. They will learn from you and they will then realize that you are the person to deal with. You are the person to buy from. You are the person that they should stay in contact with because not only are you a resource for the product and service, you are a reservoir of deep insights and information about the industry and about the category that they're interested in. So you have to devote yourself to being a student of your industry. I see people who don't know people in their industry and sometimes uh, we're not talking about people that, are, that are, were active 20, 30 years ago. We're talking about people who were active five years ago, 10 years ago. Some people don't know if it didn't happen in the last 12 months, 24 months, they don't know about it. And so use um, uh, whatever time you have uh, to, 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 to read about your industry. Do that every day if you can. Devote time reading uh, the, the books about your industry, magazine articles, profiles of people who, are, who had more impact in your industry, and it will go a long way in terms of helping you be an expert uh, in your industry and an expert in, in um, serving your clients well. Um, I think also if you can read about other industries, because one of the things I like to tell people is that all industries are related. Uh, some people are so narrow in their focus. They're like, oh, okay, if it's 
If it's not about um, this particular thing, I'm not reading. If I, I'm, I'm only going to this association meeting. I'm, I'm only going to this event. I'm only going to this. And, and they, they lose out in understanding how their industry intersects with other industries and how the people they meet in one place might be able to connect them with people they need to really know in their industry. So uh, read about your industry, learn about your industry, go deep into the knowledge about your industry, and it will serve you well in your career, it will serve you well in your business, it will serve you well in the present, and it will serve you well in the future. If you like this tip, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Please share it with someone in your network that you believe will benefit from hearing this tip. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can do that by uh, clicking the icon with my photograph. And I look forward to sharing more information. I'll see you next time.